Hi everyone, welcome to CityScope Studio. Today we will be talking about the 8 IPL teams and their players for the season 2021. We'll begin with Chennai Super Kings and we'll talk about their retained players as well as players that have been released. So yeah, CSK, they didn't have the best season last year, but Dhoni's back, he's capping the team. Suresh Rana's joining him again, he missed last season. They dropped players like Harbhajing Singh and Shane Watson retired last season, but I think this this time they have about 22.9 growers, so I think they need to get all-rounders this time. Let's begin with Delhi Capitals now. Well, they have retained their core, they have strong Indian unit, as well as overseas players, but if you talk about their opening batsmen, uh, they have released Jason Roy, they have released Alex Carey and along with that they have also let go of Tushar Desh Pandey and Mohit Sharma. Not just that, they have also traded Harshal Patel and Daniel Sams to Royal Challengers Bangalore. So it will be interesting to see what they do in the auctions with 12.9 crore. So Kings 11 Punjab, uh, one of the most exciting teams last season. Uh, they have dropped Maxwell, they have dropped Sheldon Cottrell, they have dropped Jimmy Nisham. Uh, I feel they need all-rounders and bowlers because last last season their middle order was a little bit like like not consistent enough. So they have 53.2 crores. It's it's everyone's like watching like who they're gonna get. They might get some big players. You never know. Well, yes. Moving on to Kolkata Knight Riders, they have maintained their core of the team and they haven't made too many changes. They've just let go of Tom Banton, the English opening batsman, along with Harry Gurney and a few other Indian players. They still have their core in form of Andre Russell, Pat Cummins, Owen Morgan and Sunil Narayan. But what matters or what concerns KKR fans is that they don't have too much money to spend in this auction as they have only 10.75 crores left with them. So yeah, moving on to Mumbai Indians, the winner of last season. Uh, this time around Malinga won't be joining them as he's retiring. Uh, as well, they've dropped Nathan Coulter now as well. But I feel that the team is very strong, they've maintained their core lineup. It's the same champion team that went in last season and destroyed everybody. But I feel that they need a lot of fast bowlers, that's what's missing. But with 15.35 crores, like, they can get anybody and it's Ambani's team. They're, they're rich. Moving ahead, big news coming from Rajasthan Royals, they have dropped Steve Smith. It will be interesting to see whether they retain him in the auctions or not. But for now, Sanju Samson has been declared as the captain of the team. There is no Steve Smith, there is no Tom Curran. And along with that, if you see the Indian Pacers also, Varun Aaron as well as Ankit Rajput have been left out. It will be interesting to see what Rajasthan does in the auctions because they have about 34 crores on them. And uh, especially when it comes to strengthening their middle order and lower middle order, they would want all orders along with fast bowlers to replace the ones that they have already left out. Now to RCB, my favorite team. Uh, last season they came fourth place, but they've dropped a lot of players this time around. They've dropped Chris Morris, they've dropped Aaron Finch, they've dropped Shivam Dube, and even Dale Stein. And Moen, Moeen Ali as well. So I feel that they're gonna try to get some big players, but they have a lot of spots to fill. They need a better middle order. They need better bowlers as well. They have 35.9, so I'm gonna be interesting. Like, I'm gonna be very intrigued to see what they buy this time now, or who they buy. Well, last but not the least, Sunrisers Hyderabad. Well, they're a good team, they have a strong core, and they don't change the team too much in the auctions. We've seen that in the past years, and that's what they've done this time around as well. They've just made like few changes, and those were probably the reserve benches, Billy Stanley or Fabian Allen. They, wouldn't, they didn't even get a game last season around. So those are the changes that they've done. They've maintained their core, and uh, they have about 10.75 crores on them. So the auctions are going to be happening very soon, starting from February 16th. Uh, it will be very exciting to see how the teams form up this season. So that's one thing I'm going to be watching closely. Yes, stay tuned with us on City Scope. We'll keep updating you and let's see which team can win the IPL this time around. Keep supporting and do let us know which team you're following. See ya.